Hey yo, peace, love, and blessings to everyone who's out there. Well, today is a very special day. It's Father's Day, and I hope you're taking care of your goddamn kids out there, because that's very important as a father. Just don't be a sperm donor that's out there in the world, and you're not taking care of your kids. But anyway, uh, today's going to be an easy light day. Mm -hmm. I got my so-called uh, do-rag on. So, this is pretty cool. Always you know? weakness to work. Did a great job always. at it. Always. Anyway, uh, why would you allow ourselves to make still be doing an easy 132, excuses. Why one pump, you, that? you know, just to recover. Or uh, yesterday. Uh, and happy Father's Day. I feel good. I feel great. And man, this is what it's all about, you know. Having a great mindset, you know, having that mental fortitude to get out here and do something that you don't like doing every day. And, um, you know, as a, as a, um, as a father, I feel good by doing that. You know, getting up every day, doing something that I would not like doing. You know, if it's getting up every morning to do my morning flow practice, or, you know, running in the morning, either or. I, I hate it. I despise that. I despise getting out here just doing burpees. I, I really do. I do not like doing this shit at all. I, I hate it. I really do. But, but at the same time, it helped me out so much on my journey to better myself, how I look at things, you know, how to control my temper, when it comes down to something, how to talk to some people, respectful, uh, you know, doing a better job, you know, even like making a piece of dough out. In the beginning, I used to hate that. It's, it's, it's crazy that all those years I used to despise that job, but now I love it because you know it just it works on my mental state. Just like I got to finish it up. And there's days when I don't want to be there rolling dough, but I fight through it. And at the end, you just don't know the great feeling it is to accomplish that task. And I, I just want to continue doing that. So I try to practice this uh, movement with my kids. So they could see things that way. I wish I knew about this when I was younger, but it's too bad that it took the pandemic uh, to slow me down to take time to think for myself. No. Started that. I started my semen retention journey. You know, it's just I'm, be, I'm full of energy just because you know doing semen retention. That, and that's that's other channels that could talk about that. But as men, if we practice semen retention and stay away from the so-called so porn hub, uh, uh, looking at certain things on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, just clear your mind from all that you know once you put your mind towards something else that same energy that you're looking towards that piece of v-box <laughs> yeah the v-box if you want to look at the v-box so bad that's why many men fall we chasing behind the, the v-box and i'm not saying that oh we we don't, we don't love women no no we we men love women but we constantly chasing and chasing behind the v-box and things happen that way a lot of things happen because of the V-Box. <laughs> the V-Box do, do, does a lot of damage to, you know, we men. We men need to stay, stay very strong when they're coming out of that, you know. Some, just stay strong, you know. And just concentrate on something else. <laughs> Leave the V-Box alone until you get married, you know, until you find that special loved one. Just do not chase behind the V-Box. Many men fall because of that. Many men. Many men. Many men, men becoming simps. You know, many men becoming very weak. That's why so, there's so many weak men these days. And these days, you cannot be weak, man. You cannot be weak. You got to be very strong with a lot of things. You got to take in a lot of things and, you know, make sure once you take in a lot of things, don't hold on to that emotion because that, that can cause a lot of damage. I've been that way. You know, not one thing. I know I'm running my mouth. I can keep going on, but... Just make sure that, you know, you keep a clear head about everything. Keep your mind straight. You know, we men, you know, we will survive. But remember, practice even with tension. <laughs> you have to practice that. It's going to help you out in the long run. Trust me, it really will help you out in the long run. And make sure you read more often. All right, let's get to these 132. Easy. One punch.
bring it on. Oh, things are going wrong, bring right. it on. I actually look forward to that. Yeah, just <laughs> because I say, man, we don't need to do this. Exercise my discipline. Say, we're gonna do it anyway. By any means necessary. I get to put the discipline to work. It's the moment I have been waiting for. Because let's face it, if things were easy, then then I could just sit around and slack off. Right? That's what that's what could happen. Oh. When things are easy, when things are going we'll right, see. that's when you actually slack off when things are going right. I don't recommend it. I recommend actually when things are going right, you go hard. But when things are going wrong, you need to go even harder. So, if everything's going wrong, it doesn't. Other than so, death, all failure is psychological. Other than death, so, all failure is psychological. Think about that. Just, just, just think about that. Right. This failure, this upset, this this catastrophe. If you are dead, then it's just psychological. Uh, it's in your head. Now, this does not mean that you won't lose some battles because you will. We all will. Seven. But it does mean that as long as you don't surrender, as long as you don't give up, as long as you don't quit, that you haven't right. It just means you've made a temporary tactical retreat. It means you've made a, a brief withdrawal. So that you can Eleven. regroup and be attacked. So, for a well, if you get beat, unless you're dead, you are not defeated. 13. Because you have not failed. What you've done is you've learned from this. 14. And you're still alive. 15. That you have. I talk to myself in a very honest way about things I'm not great at. 18. And if you're not, if you don't have that in you, you gotta tell you something. So for me, like I tell people, I I know I'm uncommon. 19. It's because I know that there's not many people in the world doing what I'm doing. Not because I'm blowing smoke up my ass. It's because I set out to do this. I set out to be uncommon. You have to set out to be a business person. You have to set out to be an entrepreneur. And you can't think, you know what? I'm going to be an entrepreneur. No. It has to be something that you're thinking about all the time. You're kind of born with it. But if the idea just isn't in your head, and you're obsessed with that video, I really want to get you to You're not going to give up when the time gets hard. 25. So it's the preparation that you put into your entire Seven. life, your entire life, that gets you ready for the unprepared. And what does Seven. that mean? If every day you're getting up and you're sacrificing, and you're pushing hard, and you're hey. achieving these limits every day, everything you do, your mind is slowly getting callous. Callous is like, so my hands are callous and moving forward. And you callous your mind there. by continuously pushing hard at whatever you do. So, calluses protect your hands. Calluses can protect your mind too. If you're constantly pushing hard, the second this crazy thing comes up and you're ready for it, you really are ready for it. Because your mind's like, oh, you got harder shit than this. We can handle this also. But a weak mind, an unprepared mind, not like you know what's going to happen, but most people who come into life unprepared, that one, you know, quick thing that happens to you that fucks you up, it's going to fuck you up so bad. Because you're not even for life. You, 
Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, these morning workouts. That's the killer. Whew. Especially if you eat on an empty stomach. <laughs> One workout after another. You gotta make up the day. <laughs>
but I can finally catch up. Seven two, fuck. Seven two. I'm gonna chill off the farthest, baby. Funny thing is that I had to come back and cut grass. <laughs> no days off for fathers. <laughs> no days off. Okay, we're at 75. 75. Ninety. 
90. Seven. Getting hungry.
Took me 26 minutes to finish it. Peace, love, and bless the day was out there. I'm tired as fuck. And I'm hungry. And I'm about to enjoy my Father's Day. I don't give a damn <laughs> how a fast or how slow I went. Hey, at least I got it done. So, peace out, everyone. Practicing retention, man. <laughs>